We're joined now by California State University Long Beach political science professor Jason Whitehead uh, with more on this to help us break it down. Good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. So Good let's morning. start with the indictment being under seal. That means there is so much we don't know, right? Including how many charges right. were brought, what they're actually for. Uh, what kind of questions do you have that you expect to eventually come to light? Yeah, it's a good question. I think that a lot of people have been focusing on the Stormy Daniels hush money payments, right? I mean, everyone thinks this is really at the center of the case, but there are more that if there are going to be 30 charges against him, you would think that there's going to be it's going to be branching out from there at some point, right? So you've got another investigation where the Trump organization was actually um, found criminally liable for various um, issues involving fraud, involving false uh, statements and things of this nature. So uh, my, my sense is that some of that information is going to bleed into this investigation and we'll see how much is centered on Stormy Daniels versus how much is centered on the false uh, records and other things that were filed with, um, uh, with uh, government officials. Well, that's I, I want to read to you right now. The former vice president, Mike Pence, was just asked at an idea summit about this and said that it is an outrage. He then said, I think it is clear to the overwhelming majority of the American people that this is nothing short of a political prosecution being affected by a Manhattan D.A. who literally campaigned on bringing charges against one particular American. And I must tell you that that should be offensive to every American left, right, center, what every American deserves equal treatment under the law. I, that's what a lot of people are asking. Can he get a fair trial in New York? Well, this will be something that they'll have an opportunity to argue in front of uh, the New York trial court. They have many opportunities in the state of New York, more than other states, to make pretrial motions and to argue that they can't get a fair jury, that they don't have a fair judge, that the venue needs to be moved, and all those things will be able to be hashed out. But the reality is if you're, you know, even as an elected uh, district attorney, you're not gonna bring a charge against a president, against a former president, which is unprecedented in American history, unless you feel like you can go the distance, right? No lawyer in the country is gonna do that. Um, just, just even to save face, right? So it, it's true that it's unprecedented. It's true that, you know, it could have big political ramifications. But I have to think that an attorney, not just one attorney, but a whole team of attorneys in that office um, is really willing to put their reputations behind this case. All right. Political science professor Jason Whitehead, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate your insight. Absolutely.